see crumbs on the table. I mean, there's like mad crumbs on your side, but anyway, whatever. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to the Joystick Show. I just realized the screen is flipped on the camera, so now we can't. It is recording, I yeah. know that, but I can't see the footage. I'm How do gonna, you know? It might be fucked up. You might not don't do that to know. me, Dylan. Don't fucking do that to me. <laughs> the whole. The- <laughs> Hold it down, Dylan. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, the camera essentially is flipped like like that so we can't see it. I can't see the screen. Yeah. So we don't know if you're centered or not. We are. I know. have a down there. Oh, first of all, I guess that's a cool thing to address. Actually, before we address anything, welcome to the Joystick Show. Not so live from Queens, Yeehaw, New York. Everybody. It's your boys, Bobby and Dylan, here for another fantastic episode episode 34 this oh, time yeah. around. i know the episode because i got it wrong last yeah, week. yeah yeah uh yeah a couple changes to the set as you can see yeah uh, we got rid of the bookcase that used to be down here because it was just taking up a lot of space and now the equipment rack is nice and visible nice. for some reason but enjoy it because... but yeah no we'll get just like really nice stuff to put exactly. on that rack. yeah uh what was all what was the other thing i was gonna say we're actually in the process of i know i've been saying it for a couple of episodes that we're like fixing up the basement to be more of a studio but it's like officially like on track and me and the people working on it are like we have like quote unquote deadlines now. Mm-hmm. so we're aiming for early june to be okay. out here all painted new furniture new lighting i'm even like trying to i'll get into it later on the podcast but i'm attempting to build something for the oh, first time yeah it's okay cool. like fur- furniture kind of nothing okay. crazy it's like i'll get more into legos it. If, yeah okay. out of legos for sure <laughs> uh no i was gonna say something i was gonna say a bunch of shit before yeah. i had to go fix that fucking camera thing man it really that, that really threw me off bobby I'm had super I, upset bobby had all this stuff in his head i it was did all planned. and it's yeah. all gone now. it's really unfortunate <laughs> we got a sign we got a really cool sign yeah we got a sign up there yeah with the jibloop. Yeah. and uh what have you been up to dillo oh yeah nothing uh you know i was very excited that you know spring is here and you know last week the weather was like really really nice yeah, definitely. But that's not how New York works. Oh, uh, New it, York just decides, hey, it's gonna be really <laughs> nice. Hey, spring's coming. No, it's not coming. Yep. But it's gonna be cold gonna and rainy. Psych you out for about a month and a yeah, half. Yeah, it's until... like May, maybe. <laughs> it's like that's when you're gonna get the nice weather. It's like yep. really, come on. New York is a is a clusterfuck of of yeah. temperature. I'll tell you that much. But it'll be hot again, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. it's like <laughs> one day it for will a be. couple hours. Like, I was gonna work out. I was like gonna go on runs and stuff. I was like, oh, you know, it's summer's coming. I'm in the mood for it. No, it's, it's funny. Rain. It's funny you bring up the whole spring thing. I'm, I've also kind of been enjoying the the new spring uh, mentality. I did yeah. some spring cleaning of myself. Ooh. My closet, as you you've probably seen it before, it was just a cluster fuck yeah, but that's everyone's like, that's keep, everyone's closet yeah yeah like i keep my room pretty neat yeah. but it's only because my closet looks like absolute shit it's yeah. just like it's the hole that everything i don't know where i'm gonna put it goes kind yeah. of thing so and that's you know yeah but the other day i was just the other day before i get into this i want to stress why i do this i have like this thing that i do with uh like the, the after school program that i work and i i yeah. do a study lab program and all the only reason i'm mentioning this is because the kids never show up to study lab all right so because of that what study lab really is is i just chill there for like 20 minutes and then the teacher's like all right we'll cut it and i'm like cool and then i just have like a whole hour to do stuff yeah and try to be productive with it so i okay. use that time to get into the closet organize all my clothes threw a bunch of shit out that i don't need i can actually walk inside of there now and the only reason i'm bringing it up is because i'm that proud of it it was yeah. that bad <laughs> i found so much shit i found the mets monkey oh nice you know, proudly hanging out in my room now yeah man we love uh we love a good clean yeah for, for sure. sure it's like and when you actually find out where that thing like it's like oh i have a th- place to put this thing oh yeah right my mom i like i the, my big thing is my shoes i never know what to do with my shoes sometimes mm-hmm. i just like tuck them under my bed or something my mom is like i have a shoe rack in the attic if you want it i was like yes i fucking want yeah, it. yeah that's essential you know what's yeah. in my closet now a yeah. shoe rack yeah it's so it, cool because you cleaned it there's a yeah there's a place for it that's the best part though i have that too i have like uh like you know shelves already in my closet and i keep my shoes there oh that's fire but i still throw them on the floor mm-hmm. for sure yeah no there's definitely you always throw like the pair you always yeah. use on the floor i have like a slip-on pair exactly oh. for sure yeah it's like i need those I definitely gotta go, gotta go get the mail or some shit yeah gotta go to the <laughs> store real quick <laughs> gotta go on a walk <laughs> yeah what else have you been up to uh that's about it i think uh mlb came out like i was saying on the last show so that took up a good 24 hours <laughs> Um, realize that you can sell virtual shoes for money because it's like wow. because you have like the equipment and like you have a so, player that you can oh put you're the talking equipment. about in the game yeah. I thought you meant in real life and I was like what the fuck no. is a virtual shoe oh yeah 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 no 
But uh, but yeah, like I didn't want to. All these people are like spending thousands of dollars on the game already, right? Two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, and I'm like, I don't have that kind of money. Yeah. So I just buy and sell this same item for an hour, and then I have enough money to do what I want. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's about it. Not bad. Yeah, I have a bunch of homework tomorrow, but you know, mm-hmm. yeah. Also wanted to apologize for uh. For not being able to hear Joey last week. Oh yeah. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. That's on him. <laughs> yeah. Like we like we mentioned every yeah. single time before this, this show this, starts. This is where I speak, right? Over yeah, here. totally right there. <laughs> like we mentioned, you know, the mic moves. If you want to lean back, you yeah. can lean back. You if you want to go pivot. duck down, you could do a little ducky do. Yeah. But the whole point is just bring the fucking microphone with you. You know what I mean? If he does it, ag- I mean, like, it's not funny, but like, you should just like. Zoom. There was once a time where Jose was the worst at, with audio on joystick. You remember yeah. that time where? Yeah, fucking, oh, oh, Jose. Jose would talk into like the top, and it would just sound like this. Like, <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's your boy, haha. <laughs> and whoever else was next to him sounded like super loud. What a time, man! Go check out the old Halo Let's Plays. Oh, you'll that, know exactly like, what I'm talking there's about. Some, there's no more sexual tension than sharing a microphone. <laughs> oh, back in the day, yeah. <laughs> you would share a microphone. Even you like see, before we had four, we had one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had one, and that's it. We had one microphone. We had a capture card. Yep. Oh man, I remember those days. That's it. We didn't even, honestly speaking, before we even had like the good microphone, we had that old, really shitty like USB mic. In fact, it's one of the things I just found in my closet. Nice. So I know where it is. It's upstairs. Yeah, we should we should bring it down here. Totally. Use that. Just run upstairs and go gra- grab that take me two minutes but it's like a little like you know those little handheld dynamic microphones you see like hosts use mm-hmm. shows but it was usb it was decent quality it's nothing like you hear me talking into right now but you know for 25 bucks it did the job but the funniest thing about it is we didn't even have like a microphone stand so like the early like i'm talking day one of joystick it was like me and jerry and then in between us was like two tupperware bins stacked on top of each other with like two other boxes and some yeah. cd cases and then yeah. on top of that was the stand with the microphone yes. like that's what we used to have to go <laughs> through back then but man yeah. what it's, we had so much fun with it oh yeah that's honestly why the, we have all this shit mm-hmm. now there's so many old videos that i look back on and i'm like oh wow like we made that yeah and i just completely forget, forget right and, and you might remember all of it because you edited no all i was about it, to say but, you'd expect me to remember all of them but, but i no. forget a lot too yeah. yeah for sure and then you scroll through and you're like oh wow like yeah. weirdly enough like you remember when joey and i brought up the last slice videos the other yes. day that was because i at that moment i just remember we made those videos i was like what the fuck oh like, last slide that was like and iconic that's like, a, that's like a, the only sketches we've ever made quote yeah. unquote you know what i mean that's a uh, pretty uh, essential. If anyone has not watched Last Slice, please do go I, watch Last Slice. It's no definitely. sarcasm. It's some of my best acting work yeah. to date, and it's, I've been in a movie. So, mm-hmm. oh, premium acting. Yeah, that whole way through. I'm I'm still waiting on my BAFTA. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Crazy stuff. man. You just really brought me back to a yeah. A good time. You feel the pizza in your head. I, 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 I can like see you guys in my room in front of the TV and me on the bed trying to stay as quiet as possible, chiming in every now and then whenever I need to to put in my two cents. Man, what a throwback! Back when my bed was against the brick wall. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just I'm just remembering like doing like the podcast in your living room, which yeah. now in hindsight is a very weird vibe concept, right? Like it's like a weird that it's like, and you can kind you can kind of tell that yeah, <laughs> like yeah, we're yeah. on your couch just chilling, just chilling. But also it fits because it's like we're just chilling. No, yeah. <laughs> And for what it's worth, you know, we only made like three, you know, and they yeah. were the most inconsistent things on the planet. Like mm-hmm. you, you see the fact that we've made 34 almost weekly episodes in like eight months. Yeah. And then back then we made three episodes in like a year and a half. Like that's how fucking crazy it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's there's some fucking hilarious moments. Oh, in those there's podcasts, some funny man. ass stories. In the original Joystick podcast, dude, yeah. fucking uh, Jerry's <laughs> uh, Ranger thing. Oh, my God. Oh, man, where Jerry used to get candy in the park. <laughs> 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 there's some gold i gotta go back and watch those those had some gold in them definitely we should react to them yeah. on some like, oh on yeah, some content yeah. creation shit yeah just like splice together definitely. like the best shit we're also like in like this new phase of making new content which is kind of cool like we've mentioned when joey was here that we're working on that show but we're also in production of some uh chef son stuff and trying to fit in some other cool things so we're kind of, we're not rebranding or per, per se, but it's gonna be like a new wave. You know what I it's mean? It's gonna be a crowded, more crowded channel 
Not over even. Everything. Well, it is for sure. Yeah, that's, like that's got, it's not just it. going to be podcast, podcast, chef son, yeah, podcast. Exactly. There's going to be, be more all around stuff. Stuff. There's gonna but be it, it's kind of like a second wave. You know yeah. what I mean? We're trying out some new stuff, trying out some new vibes, some new techniques, getting some new gear, which I'm really excited about. Uh, pretty soon, this is going to be like an all high definition podcast. No more of these fucking mm-hmm. things. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. Clickbait the hell out of that. Oh, just for like sure. 4K, 4K, even though it's yeah. not. Technically, what the funny <laughs> oh. thing is, is that the new main camera I'm getting is capable of shooting 4K, but the side cameras aren't. So oh, it wouldn't okay. be full 4K. Yeah. It would be uh, it's just full, full almost. Full almost <laughs> 4K. <laughs> One camera. We don't got to like that. Maybe yeah. after we come out with the Patreon, we can talk. But oh yeah, yet another thing. Can we, we can we do some really cool thumbnails where we're like open mouth? Yeah. And, oh no, dude. Yeah, edited so the, the the sad thing, Dylan, is uh, I hate to admit it, right? Yeah. There was a there used to be a time on YouTube that I, I refer to as the golden age. It was mm-hmm. like you know prime achievement hunter, prime yeah. game grumps when Smosh mm. was just Anthony and Ian. Yeah, it was like 2011, and, and 2012. Quarter digital. Yeah, like the early 2010s to mid-2010s. Yeah. So that was a prime age, mm-hmm. right? It was kind of before the whole clickbait shit yeah before it was honestly the whole thing that people complain about is the it algorithm was, yeah it was before the adpocalypse yeah it was before it was before that. like youtube started pressuring people to create as much as possible to monetize because mm-hmm. that's the truth it was back in a time where you could just create an amazing thing yeah. and you would get paid per view yeah. and shit like that and, and also to... that's because so many short viral things got big exactly because yeah. of that reason just because any video could get big and this is also at that same token a lot of people who didn't make money off their video yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the reason I bring that up is just because now on YouTube the truth is is that if you want your video to stand out, your titles have to be interesting and mm-hmm. your thumbnails have to be catchy. And one of the most you know important things that people add to their thumbnails is you've seen it hundred f- fucking times is faces. Yeah, it's, faces it's next to hands are big, arguably big, the big, biggest big 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 reaction. Catch face. people. It's like a marketing thing. Yeah. You know, as soon as you see mm-hmm. the face, you're inclined to to be intrigued, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a little. The parody is like a little like no, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. you guys don't gotta follow the numbers that yeah, badly, like where like, your mouth is like half of your face. Yeah. You're like, oh, or you know like I mean? you literally like, have the same template and then you just yeah, do, move a different every face single, exactly. in the same yep, okay. yep, yep, I yep. know a guy who I've, does I've this. seen multiple yeah. like especially like Twitch streamers who have the, you know, all the time they just upload the, the same the one same yeah. reaction picture mm-hmm. to everything <laughs> be like my mom is pregnant or like I killed the whole squad it's like the same picture he's just a surprise but uh but oh. fucking I was gonna say yeah I've always secretly wanted to like the th- as much as I love the thumbnails that we put out of our you know thumbnail pictures here at the table technically our faces are in the yeah, thumbnail yeah we have to start incorporating more close up images and things like that but that's where the new high quality cameras will come into play mm-hmm. so when those come in yeah I'm, I'm afraid we're I can lock eyes with some. the camera every week if Definitely. you need me to every single yeah. that should just be every thumbnail mm-hmm. so people just know what they're getting yeah. it's just you it's just yeah. half you, <laughs> you <laughs> it's both of us staring directly, directly into each camera. Split screen. Yeah. That's the thumbnail. Mm-hmm. That'll be the HD one. It's like <laughs> HD. Or we'll just be like fisheye lens. <laughs> I have one. Oh my Ooh, god. Motherfucking fisheye lens. Fisheye lens episode. What is this object? Do you remember that? What? Do you remember the fisheye lens sketch on Tosh.0? Oh? No. Everything looks cooler. And then the guy would come in through a motherfucking fisheye lens. No, I don't remember that. The only reason I bring it up. Is because uh, my dad used to watch Tosh.0 with yeah. me, and that was like his all time favorite fucking mm. thing from Tosh.0 to the point where he still quotes it like every now and then. <laughs> He'll just be like, through a motherfucking fish out list. It's just so funny. It's like, I think I may have heard your, heard, heard your dad yeah. say that. The whole, the, whole, <laughs> the whole aspect is like, it's Daniel Tosh just doing completely normal things. He's yeah. like, I'm eating a bowl of cereal with whole milk. And then, and then a like, kite guy comes in and he's like, through a motherfucking fish outlet. Yeah. And it's like my dad's favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like Eric Andre esque, it sounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, Dylan. We've been talking for, I think, like, I don't know, Sometime. 13 minutes ish or something like that. I've prepared a podcast. A segment. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's prepared the whole podcast, guys. We made it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I prepared a segment is what I meant to say. And segment. It's, podcast. Yeah. Just, edit, just edit the word po- <laughs> segment after podcast. Like, podcast. <laughs> segment. <laughs> like my mouth isn't even. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or cut to me. <laughs> Damn, why did I have to fucking. See, I, I'm mad I reacted at that because then you had that million dollar idea. Yeah, and I could have just did some I mean, baller you're the, editing. Fi- and fix it in post. <laughs> fix it in post. <laughs> Fuck out of here. 
Uh, no, I just want to make sure that the uh, segment is loaded up on my notes section because oh. I originally did it here and it is right here. Mm. Ooh, I'm excited for this one, Dylan. Okay. So we this is our third segment in a row because we're trying to keep it consistent. People yeah. love the seggy weggies. That's oh, what yeah. we're calling them now. Okay, I and, guess. Uh, and I've got a good one for you. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. When this podcast is released, yeah, we release every Wednesday. Yes. It will be April 21st. Mm-hmm. The day after a renowned holiday yes, that every everyone. that a lot of people enjoy. Yeah, not all. everybody, but a lot of people enjoy uh, that holiday being April twentieth, yeah. more commonly referred to as four twenty. Correct. Also, quite recently, about a few weeks ago, uh, New York State, our home state, recently finally legalized recreational use of marijuana. It's like mm-hmm. a whole big chain. Not everything's in effect yet, but it's, it's a big, it's a, yeah. it's a very progressive you can, time. You that can we're smoke in. in front of a cop. It, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> kind of. Don't do it, but yeah, you know, you can do it. But, uh, <laughs> that being said, I have prepared a segment for us to, to do Dylan that I, I have very, uh, I had a word, but I, I'll just say the name of the segment. Yes. Welcome to weed or not to weed. <laughs> okay. That is the question. I think that's a Shakespeare shit. I don't know if I can Interesting. Uh, yes, this is to weed or not to weed. It's very similar to our fact or fake segments, but it's a little different because there's not too many facts. It's just a lot of fake. Okay. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. You ready to know how the game is going to work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> very simple. I had a lot of fun coming up with this one. Oh, because, yeah. So, essentially how the game works is uh, I have six batches of marijuana strains here for you. Oh, my God. This is great. Uh, There's six batches of four. Okay. Only one of the strains is a real strain of marijuana. This is hard. The other three are fake. This is going to be hard. Not only is that hilarious, but I used a fake weed strain name generator to get all of these fake names. So I'm not gonna, it's hilarious. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'm going to get any of these. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Are you ready for the first batch <coughs> of to weed or not to weed? I'm ready. I think uh, we should have had photos, but that's way too much work. I got something. I don't got <laughs> photos, but okay. we'll get into it. You ready? All right. You ready for the first four? Hit me. The first four strains are Big Sensitiva, White Girl OG, Bolt K Maui, or Lemon Passion. Keep in mind, only one of those is a real marijuana strain. <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> I really like White Girl OG. <laughs> That's like really great. I really want that one to be real because uh-huh. then like I could just think of like the the artwork. Yeah. On the packaging. What was the first one? First one was Big Sensitiva. Big Sensitiva. Now that sounds like Sativa. Mm-hmm. So that one would be kind of real. Mm-hmm. But then again, I also like the last one, which was Lemon Passion. Yeah. Because that one doesn't seem like a generator wouldn't come up with that one, mm-hmm. you know? I feel like the other the other ones would be a generator. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with that one. I'm gonna go with Lemon Passion. So you think Lemon Passion yes. is a real strain? Well, I'm afraid to tell you that White Girl OG. <sighs> God damn it. It's real. real? White Girl OG is a potent hybrid cross of two well-known cannabis strains, Berry White and Girl Scout Cookies. Okay. Its effects are middle of the road, offering immediate mental elevation and creeping physical relaxation. The strain's overall potency can be too much to handle for unseasoned smokers, so mind your dosage. Hmm. White this, Girl OG. This sounds good. <laughs> Not bad, right? I like the name, honestly. So, uh, zero for six right now. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for my gut then. You sounds know? good. Because I didn't go with my gut there. I went for what sounds real. So you're gonna go with your gut from here on. Throwing that tactic out the window. All right, you ready for the next four? Mm-hmm. We've got Love Mighty, Crystal Berry Moby Wiz. That's a that's a long one. <laughs> Canna Sutra, and Bogglegum Fruit. Before you ask me, I have no fucking idea what a boggle gum is. Sounds boggle. like some Harry Potter ass no, shit. No, it's it's but bo- I don't isn't, know. isn't that the game with the with the numbers and you push on it? Boggle the dice game. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, boggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't know what the fucking <laughs> gum part is. I think I think it has something to do with boggle the game. Sure, yeah, definitely okay. the fruit. Um, what was the Canterbury j- cherry whiz? <laughs> what the fuck was it? Oh, yeah, the Canterbury Cheese Whiz, right? <laughs> what is it? It's Crystal Berry Moby Whiz. Three separate words. Crystal Berry, Crystal Berry Moby, Moby Whiz. Whiz. And then the third one? Canna Sutra. Okay, so it's like the sexual weed. Ka- yeah. Okay. 
seductive. I don't know. I, this one's actually pretty hard. Uh, I'll go with that one. What? Uh, the one you, uh, the third one. Kanasutra. Kanasutra. Ding, 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 my friend. Kanasutra is a full-bodied indica with soothing and arousing effects. Yep, there, there it is. It said to provoke desire. This is the interesting one. And augment sexual encounters. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that means. But, but I can tell with the name. It's gonna. Yeah. But do you think that there was this guy who was just testing something? Like uh, there was like a guy who does, you know, the dream job. If you thought like a food tester was the dream job. Like a weed um, tester. The guy who tests all these strains yeah. before they get pushed out. And he came back the next day. He's like, dude, I grew another penis. Bro, Isn't that crazy? <laughs> bro, bro, I just, she, she augmented. She like, <laughs> Like, I just imagine it, and they're just like, okay, we're writing that oh, down. Man. It's totally because I read that, and I immediately yeah. think, like, science fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she just turns into a robot or some you shit. You are just I'm imagining, like, <laughs> robot penis. Like, that's all I'm thinking, you know, like, augment. That's, like, some shit that you hear in a science. Like, oh, you said, a science augmentation. Yeah, yeah, You're definitely. Like, oh, God. Oh, all right. I'm happy I got that one. Definitely. That, that definitely. sounded. I'm proud of you, buddy. Yeah, it's, you sounded. said the whole testing thing, and it kind of reminded me. Uh, you seen Pineapple Express. Yeah. The opening scene where Bill Hader is in the death oh, testing chamber. One of the best scenes. He fucking does the whole jazz shit. <laughs> you ready for the next four, my yeah, friend? Yeah, third one. All let's right, let's it. get right into it. We've got Barack Obama. <laughs> We've got Max Mean. We've got BLZ Cushage and Bubba Sativa. Okay. Repeat the third one. The third one was BLZ Cushage. BLZ. Okay. I like the idea of Cushage. Cushage. Yeah. It's like the the art of Cush. Of cush. Yeah. <laughs> like that's how I Maybe imagine it's Cushage. It. Uh, I, may have, I may have said it. Cushage. <laughs> uh, oh, this one's. They all. I don't know. They all sound boring. You know. Mm -hmm. The other ones sounded fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with oh, the Obama one. Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Yeah. You're, you're fucking nailing yeah. this, my man. <laughs> Barack Obama is a version of Bubba Kush and a fitting tribute to the previous commander-in-chief. It is excellent for medical patients with its high levels of THC and CBD. Okay. So, Barack Obama is a real strain. You're shout killing outs, it, bro. Shout-outs to, uh, shout to POTUS. Two out of three so yeah. far. <laughs> All right. You ready for the next one? Yeah. These are kind of like how you did similarly with the fact or fake. I did my best to make these kind of grouped a little bit. Oh. So these I mean, are, these are, yeah. these are going to have some names. You ready? Okay. We've got Jorge's Velvet. We've got Mr. Quirkle, uh, Brett's Cough, and OG Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I immediately think that. Okay, how are these related? <laughs> They're like names, you know what I mean? Oh. Jorge's Velvet, Mr. Quirkle, Brett's Cough, OG Maybe. Bob Saget, you know what I mean? How is Quirkle spelled? It's spelled Q... I, I knew you were going to ask that, by the way. It's Quirkle? spelled Q-W-E-R-K-L-E, -E, Quirkle. Okay, because that, that... Okay, that sounds really real. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. I'm really hoping... That OG Bob Saget is real. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say OG Bob Saget. <clears throat> OG Bob Saget, also <laughs> known as The Bob, is a stimulating stativa that won second place at the 2016 Colorado Cannabis Cup. Whoa. Addled, I did not wait a minute. This adult comedian gets the heart pumping, stimulating the consumer to the point of agitation. But fear not, the energy subsides and settles into an uplifted cerebral haze that is lucid yet spacey. Apparently, this is like one of the biggest strains. Interesting. OG Bob Saget. I, that's what it sounded. Bob. That's why it sounded so familiar. Because I'm like, I think I've heard of this one before, yeah. which is why it sounded real. Also, shout outs to Bob Saget getting like, you know, named a, like a strain after. That's yeah. insane. What, what a crazy strain. And also, what is the Colorado Cup? The, the weed Colorado cup? Colorado Cannabis Cup? I imagine it as like the Westminster Dog Show. Oh, no. I, I went somewhere different. I'm oh. just seeing people like shot putting a, a fucking pound of weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the weed javelin. Yeah. Oh, it's like what would what would the uh like maybe smoke tricks? Like I'm trying to think of what would the weed related <laughs> Olympic sports would the be. The best O. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. But yeah, I gotta look that up because I'm just like I'm imagining competition, but I imagine it's just like the Westminster dog show and then like they bring the weed. <laughs> they bring the weed. They're just like testing it, they dip it in water, like they do it, they're they're lighting it in all these different ways. They're like hmm. Oh man, we gotta get tickets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I'm ready. Similar to the keeping in kind of themes. This mm-hmm. is the, another themed ones. I went with locations this time. So okay. we've got Amazonian Noir, Burmese Kush, California Thai, and Amsterdam Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These all... All right. What was the first one? Amazonian Noir. Okay. That one sounds fancy. It sounds cool as yeah. fuck. But I don't think it's real. I definitely don't think it's real. What was the last one? The last one sounded cool. That was like the one was Amsterdam yeah. Dwarf. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this. I feel like it. Um, I feel like this is not only is it good, it's also ironic because the Netherlands is the tallest population in the world. Oh, I didn't so fucking. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that one. So you're gonna go with Amsterdam yeah. Dwarf. Final answer. I'm afraid you got this one wrong, buddy. This one was Burmese Kush, oh, right. bred by T H Seeds. Haha. <laughs> yeah. This sounds. This sounds familiar too. Get Not the, that I would know. Did you get the name though? T H Seeds. It's pretty great. Yeah. And including the California classic OG Kush, this plant is dark green and has a piney aroma with a sweet aftertaste and tends to give consumers a calm, mellow outlook. So that's uh, Burmese Kush. Nice. I, li- I like how this is strangely educational. Right. I tried you know to throw in some stuff. You know, in, in, the, like a, in the weirdest way, it's it's like very it's like very um, informative. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what Joystick's about. We make yeah. you laugh and we make you learn something too. Yeah. Test on test on Tuesday. Definitely. <laughs> Better fucking study. All right. Last category. Not mm-hmm. necessarily a group, but these just made me laugh the hardest. So yeah, I'm ready. These are these are the, I left the four funniest ones. Okay. Ones. We've got Poochie Love. All right. Poochie Love. Run up on ya, UW, <laughs> and run up on ya is one word. <laughs> B fifty two power supernova. Okay. And Skittles Tiger. And that is per- that is spelled S K I T T L Z space T A I G A. So there you go. <laughs> Where do we even start with this one? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, what was the first one? The first one was Poochie Love. Okay, and that okay, that sounds catchy. That sounds good. Sounds like something I would want to smoke. You're telling me run up on you, UW doesn't? <laughs> you, okay, what, what is the U, UW? What is that? Oh, no. So the first word is run up on you. Oh, it's one word. Which is R-U-N-U-P-O-N-Y-U-H. Yeah, run up on you. And then UW at the end. <laughs> don't ask me. Oh, <laughs> I don't. This isn't my. Uh, no way this is real. Well, this is hard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Poochie Love. You killed it, Dylan. Okay. You did a great job. Woo! Fantastic. Yeah. Poochie I'm so, Love. I'm so glad Run Up On You is not real. Poochie Love from Archive Seed Bank is a 70% sativa strain that descends from the ever so tasteful dog shit and face off OG. <laughs> the dog shit parent is famous for its novel smell, novel in quotations, that gave the strain its name. But Poochie Love has a more earthy and herbal aroma. Oh, my God. Four for six, Dillo. Okay. Looks like you know your strains. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> no, I mean that was, that was that was I did not expect that going in. Yeah, I told I Dylan had, nothing about the segment. Yeah, so. I had no, I knew nothing about that. So great job! Make sure to leave your uh, scores down below. See yeah. how you did. Uh, some people commented on how they did in the movie segment last time. I was pretty happy to see that as well. Hopefully everyone does well. I feel like this one's a little hard because this it's one like, was hard. It's like it's really hard because the thing was is I went through a lot. I sat in front of that generator for like an hour because it gives you a lot of bad ones. Oh, so you have to the, throw yeah. out the shitty mm-hmm. ones. There's like a lot that they try way too hard. It's like lemonberry Kush OG special. It's like <laughs> yeah. nope. I mean, there was some of them where I'm like, there's a lot of oh, names yeah, in yeah. this. Even then, there were some that I said that I didn't the like. Supernova much, one or whatever. Yeah, like, that was a stretch. That was oh, definitely like, a stretch. I was like, Whoa. I was really hoping that you would pick Run Up on You, UW. No, because as I soon knew, as that one came I up, I was like, yes. I feel like yes. every gen- generator does that. Like, um, I remember when we were playing uh, uh, Pictionary, and I have the word generator. Mm-hmm. That word generator does not give words sometimes. Yeah, it would just be like U U H, and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> how do I fucking? How do I draw that? I don't even know what that is. But the other funny thing was like. I wanted to get fun facts about uh about the strains like I did. Mm-hmm. So I had to like Google a lot of them and then I noticed that I wanted to make sure that the fake generator was actually fake strains and mm-hmm. it wasn't just generating like real names. So I Googled a lot of them and what I came to find out is that the generator basically like mixes names that yeah. are used in strains but yeah. like together. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. That. That's how you know So the reason I'm saying that works. is because now I'm trying to find out if there's a strain called run up on you. <laughs> I mean or just UW, whatever that means. UW yeah, right. What the fuck would that even stand for? Yeah. Nothing comes up but images, so. Okay. I don't know. Nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no! Apparently there is a strain called UW Purple. Oh, right, there it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it comes with its own superhero origin story, apparently, but not gonna delve into that Whoa, one. Whoa. We'll yeah. save that for uh, that's a... the next to weed or not to weed. Yeah. Next, next four twenty, hopefully. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice. Hopefully we can up the ante a little bit. <laughs> we doing it like from a weed farm. <laughs> yeah. Right. In, uh, outdoor podcast in upstate new york or some yeah. shit like that <laughs> wearing straw hats oh my god no we're just like long island somewhere i'm picturing you know, fucking nowhere. um you've seen pop star yeah, yeah yeah at the end where they find out this guy uh akiva his character like left the band to yeah. start a weed farm but yeah, they don't yeah, reveal yeah. it until the very end like you know he works on a farm but then they're like what do you grow here and then they show he has like acres of weed and then he's like all right guys we've had a bountiful harvest you can all go home now <laughs> gonna get high with my friends yeah oh my god yeah what a shit is wild yeah what a good ending that's a good movie Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a surprisingly good movie. I yeah. feel like people didn't give it that much, uh, no. it's, too much attention. It's so it's intentionally like violently goofy. I feel like any movie like oh that, yeah, anything that the Lonely Island touches yeah, is gonna yeah. be that. Yeah, but. but but then I feel like then like you said, people didn't give it credit for like the whole like you know ma- basically copying the like the artist's movie. Yeah, like a mockumentary. Yeah. or or a do- well, it is a mockumentary. Yeah. But, but yeah, the, yeah, the, the the art the concert tour documentary yeah, yeah, yeah. experience. Justin Bieber type. Yeah, vibe. One Direction. Yeah, all dude, that. there's so many parts in that movie that fucking kill me, man. Mm-hmm. My favorite joke in that movie might be uh, this guy. What's this guy's name from? Um, oh my god, the Tim Meadows is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's him. Yeah, where he uh he he plays like the band manager and he's like yeah. uh, he's like I used to be in an old R and B group. We were called Tony, 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 yeah. and we were all spelled different. It's like T O N Y, T O N I, T O N E D, and everybody in the group had an exclamation point at the end of their name. And I thought it'd be different if my had a question mark. <laughs> so then it turned into Tony, 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 Tony. Tony? <laughs> and then like his picture fades away. And it's like, needless to say, there were creative differences and I didn't stay with the band. I cried, bro. It's one of my favorite fucking things. But you know when they wrote that, they were just in the writer's room crying. crying dude. Just yeah. like, Tony, Tony. Tony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I imagine there's definitely like actors that do that where it's like they're in a comedy movie. And they read the script and they're just like, I don't even fucking know yeah. how I'm going to say this with a straight face. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, I know I've seen some, like, I was watching some Parks and Rec uh, bloopers, which is always the best bloopers yeah, to yeah. watch. Oh, they're some of my favorite fucking bloopers. And I forgot this one, but, but, um, that... there's actually a reason why those bloopers are so great. Yeah. And I'll get to that yeah. after your thought. But and it's just, it, you see someone mess up a line like six or seven times and they're like, I'm so sorry, but this is funny. Yeah. They're just like, oh. You I'm know trying. why the Parks and Rec bloopers are like so funny? Dare yeah. I say some of the funniest bloopers on television? Mm-hmm. It's because a lot of that show is improvised. Yeah. Uh, what they would do is they would film the script take, everything to the word, right? Uh-huh. And then after that, they would get out. They would give the actors the freedom to come in and try something different. Yeah. So they would keep in a lot of that shit, which is why those bloopers are hilarious. One of my favorite Parks and Rec bloopers is the one where uh, Chris Pratt is having the drink in Ron's office with Ron. <laughs> yeah. And he tells him, he's like, I've got hot snakes. Yeah. And then he's, he, then Ron is like, what's hot snakes? And Andy's like, it's when the diarrhea comes out, it feels like hot snakes. <laughs> and fucking Ron, like, Nick Offerman yeah. spits out the yeah. alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Chris Pratt keeps a straight face. He's like, got hot snakes and bubble gut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps it the whole way. That one's great. And then there's one with the, the doctor, and he's like, it's like a marker. <laughs> yeah, yeah the thing. I'm wiping a marker back there. Oh, my God. Yeah, that show just... Andy. What, what an all-star cast for that show. And uh, a couple episodes back on the podcast, you mentioned the one of... Uh, I had never seen it, the one of Adam Scott holding the board game t-shirt. Yeah. He gets way too excited. He's like, oh, boy. Yeah, I found it. And yeah. then he's like, should I tone that yeah. down a little bit? Oh, yeah. And then there's the one with him and Aziz and Mo Collins. And he's just like... Is she gonna powder her vagina? Yeah, <laughs> and he just keeps trying it, and he just—they just can't. They just can't. <laughs> and finish. that's in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just can't finish that two-second eye look without <laughs> laughing. I love that show. I'm currently on my like seventh or eighth rewatch. I recently got Peacock. Love mm-hmm. Parks and Rec. It's easily my favorite show. It's such a good show. 
Uh, and I think out of all of those shows, had the best like cast of like actual like oh yeah heavy like heavy hitters like good actors you yeah know what I mean? like The Office had good people, but it wasn't like they were all big before The Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A exactly. lot of them got big from The Office. A lot of them were or like they were writers like, on the yeah, show. Yeah, or they were like you know, extra. They were like you know supporting people in exactly. other comedy movies, and then they worked their they way. They weren't in. like main build. Yeah, like when you watch The Office intro, right? Who are the main build actors? It's like Michael Scott, Rain yeah. Wilson, John Krasinski. You said Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sorry yeah. fucking steve carell rain wilson john krasinski uh what's this girl's name pam uh jenna fisher and it was bj novak it was just those five and then eventually they added ed helms right yeah. fucking parks and rec they have everybody on the intro dude they have aziz on sorry amy poehler rashida jones and then rob they kept lowe, and, and, Scott, and then they added Pratt. rob lowe and adam scott yeah, later and then in on the final season they even added jim o'hare and retta like yeah. jerry and fucking uh and and uh Oh my god, Donna! Yeah. Because they're in every single episode of they're the show. In, yeah, they're like, in. They're always. They there. all play main roles. Yeah, and they all have a line. Yeah, it's arguably one of the best casts on TV, and or even further from like the 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 actor perspective, just the characters. I mm-hmm. think that's one of the coolest things because the show never has to at, at one time be like, let's get them all together in a situation. Like they all have intermittent, like yeah. these little relationships mm-hmm. with each other. Yeah, that you could put Anne and April together, yes. and April doesn't like Anne, and that's that's a story right there. You can put. Andy and Ron together and Andy learned something and that's mm-hmm. something right there like every single one mm-hmm. of the characters works and, together and that's also how most sitcoms do it yeah and it's the correct way to do it mm-hmm. for sure like and also what makes it really great is that if all of those different plots can come back at the end and they all which they all do and then they meet with that big final scene I feel like like a lot of people don't you know I mean, I feel like some people give it credit, but like a show like Seinfeld, which was huge, right? I'm holding my tongue. I want to do a Parks and Rec episode now. Yeah. But go ahead. So uh, like Seinfeld, that's why Seinfeld is so good because each character would have their own separate thing that's like completely random that they have going on in their life. And somehow, even though they're completely unrelated, they'll all come back into one situation at the end. Mm-hmm. And I feel like most sitcoms do that really I haven't well. watched too much Seinfeld. I need you to sit down one day and just show me some good parts. There, uh, I've seen all the important mm-hmm. episodes. Like uh, I remember a few years ago, I was looking at uh, – the movie tv guides i think or like af i forgot who did it but it was basically the best television episodes of all time Uh uh-huh and it used to be an i love lucy episode but then when they redid it it was a seinfeld episode wow which one and it was basically an episode where they all had a competition to see who could go the longest without masturbating but it was a show on at eight o'clock at night you can't say the word masturbation. Mm-hmm. So they, he, uh, Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld write over 200 sexual innuendos, innuendos to write throughout the show. And it won an Emmy. Wow. <laughs> and I heard that and I was like, okay. So I mean, like, I mean, I would give you the Emmy just for the fucking work. <laughs> if you're going to sit there and be like, choke the chicken. Yeah. Smack the whacking. They uh, and there's one point where they're all in the room together and they, they just rattle off like 15. Fire, and yeah. I'm just like, wow, they actually wrote that. That's insane. But uh, but yeah, there's tons of good side. Like there's the one um, where like Keith Hernandez ends up dating Elaine, but then <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but I then Keith Hernandez spat on Newman as he was walking that, out and of that's the, the stadium. Whole JFK yeah, magic and it's thing. like this whole yeah, yeah yeah, and all of them are just you know really really good. There's one with uh, basically there is a boy who lives in a bubble, like he's like immune deficient yeah, yeah, and like really yeah. sick gotcha, so he gotcha. can't go outside he has to stay in the bubble they end up meeting the bubble boy and uh george almost kills him <laughs> because they have an argument when playing trivial pursuit <laughs> and um there's a typo on the card so it's supposed and it was like oh what um civilization was you know arab and ran spain or whatever and it's the moors but the typo said the moops <laughs> and they just get into like this too many argument and he pops the bubble and he fucking end up they, they, they get like run out of town because he murdered the bubble boy uh, the moops <laughs> he, they, is, he's like yelling out of the room like pointing at him as he's like gasping for air oh man like the moops that's fucking great yeah and Seinfeld gets a bad rap because they end up they're known for like that kind of thing like they're just like oh Jerry and then yeah, they just yeah, like yeah. they yell back and forth and like any like family guy would do a bunch of cutaways and stuff yeah. like that where they would mention Seinfeld and they would just do like the same little yeah, yeah. sketch but I mean the writing on that show is you know incredible Fire, yeah. no I it's funny we're a family guy I said earlier <laughs> I was watching Family Guy last night uh, mm-hmm. it was an episode I forgot it's the episode where uh it's like the Christmas special and Peter 
like accidentally gives away all the gifts and yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, the one with kiss save Santa. yeah that yeah one. that's like one of the yeah but there's a part where uh, ones. yeah there's like a part where peter gets on stage for the town christmas thing and he's saying he's like really misprint like saying the story of the birth of jesus because he doesn't know what he's talking yeah. about but he's basically like the spirit of christmas the time where jesus comes back from the dead to slay the de-, like some stupid peter shenanigans right but there's a guy in the crowd who's like Oh, this is outrageous! How dare he speak this blasphemy? What I, is there anything I can do about this? And then another guy in the crowd is just like, "No, Bill, I'm, I'm afraid there's nothing you can." not And then the guy is just like, "Huh? I guess I'll have to develop a sense of humor." <laughs> it's like the funniest fucking thing. I don't know why. Shit just killed me. I feel like that's very uh, telling for now. I yeah, feel like, right. I feel like whenever I look back at old shows like that, they'll there'll be something like super telling about yeah, society, yeah, yeah. and you're just like. Yeah, that's our, that's honestly why it fucking like made a, me laugh so hard. Like a they like a they called it almost moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like South Park has a lot of those for sure. It's also like a there's another episode where uh it's the episode where Peter finds out he's retarded mm-hmm. after he plays Trivial Pursuit and Lois gives him like the fake answers or whatever. But Brian basically knows that Peter isn't a genius because because Peter wins Trivial Pursuit and thinks he's a genius. So Brian is like, go take this test. And if you pass, they give you a grant or whatever. And yeah. Peter fails. And the reason I bring it up is because uh, I've watched the show on Hulu. So Hulu has like all the uncensored episodes. Yeah. So on the uncensored version of that episode, <coughs> after uh, fucking, you know, Peter comes back and fails, mm-hmm. there's a part where Brian is just like, I don't want to say I told you so, but uh... and then he literally just goes fuck you fuck face go fuck yourself like and i was not expecting it, it comes out of literally nowhere and i was like what the i hell? remember that episode yeah because i was watching that episode years ago with my dad mm-hmm. and that was on the dvd set so it's uncensored. and it was uh, that's why my dad got the dvds in hindsight it was all oh, they had all the uncensored and they had the commentaries which yeah. i watched um and just i still th- have to check out yeah and i think my favorite thing was just like fuck like peter is just fucking hysterical yeah yeah Oh, and the other thing I was going to bring up, media-related. I was trying to watch a movie last night, but I got frustrated trying to find it. Yeah. Something something in my brain was just like, watch Blades of Glory. I don't know why, but now I really, really want to watch Blades of Glory. Blades of Glory is not on anything? No. Oh, my God. I'll buy it. It's like, rent it for three bucks? Fuck it. But I really want to watch that movie for some reason. I don't know why. It's because... Uh, well, I know why. It's because... I watched it. It was on TV recently. I watched it recently. It was, uh, this movie's on Hulu now. Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, okay. So I was watching some of that, and then I just started thinking about, like, John Heater movies, and I was like, fucking miss what? Blades of Glory. What else is John... Is John Heater in anything else? He's in that. He's in Blades of Glory. Because, in... like, all I remember him is uh, Benchwarmers, Napoleon, he's Blades in, of Glory. Isn't he in that movie School for Scoundrels? It's like with this guy, Billy Bob Thornton, I think. Pretty sure that's him. Yeah, he's in that. Yeah, that's that's four things right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's a family man. He's got like kids and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, for sure. I knew that, I and mean, I've seen him in like stuff. Like he does like charity stuff. Yeah. But um, I'm thinking of, like other movies. Like, cause in my head, he's like a really iconic actor. He is. I mean, that's the funny thing. Yeah, 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 for sure. But he's not like in a, a billion things. Yeah, there's, you know, there's tons of, it's like Tim Robbins is this guy in Shawshank Redemption. Like, how many fucking Tim Robbins movies have you seen? But Shawshank Redemption is like widely regarded as being no. the best movie of all. But time. I feel like Tim Tim Robbins is in other stuff though. Like more so than John Heater for sure <laughs> per se. But I'm just saying, like, you know what I what I mean? Like, there were like you know Morgan yeah. Freeman's in that movie too. Morgan Freeman's been in a fucking Morgan Freeman's thing. been in everything you know I mean? yeah but that's what i'm trying to get yeah. at he played sure. an iconic character i guess per se but it was iconic enough to dub him an iconic actor you know what i mean oh yeah like that's the thing that napoleon dynamite man it's just a weird gem of a movie the energy in that movie is something very special and i love watching when you see the footage of them making it because it feels so indie you see like the actors just like laughing on set like yeah it's funny let's do that it's like it's such a like a kind of feels like when we do shit like yeah that. i mean it's a very it's a community you yeah, know yeah, and then yeah. like even then the movies like about like the small town and stuff you can really like everyone kind of comes together to make it yeah the sad thing is that when people do that and it fucking sucks. Yeah. That's the saddest. Like, bad you're movies. like, oh, people put, like, money like, and uh, effort and time into this bad movie. White Diamond and the... the fucking it, Diamond Cobra, Cobra, Cobra and White Diamond Fox. Cobra White Fox. Yeah, there's some bad... Ugh. Like, I've been... Like, what happens a lot is I'll watch a movie, a bad movie, but then it, if it doesn't get funny enough, I'm just like, I can't... I can't take it. Because mm-hmm. then it's like, if it's not really funny bad, then, like, I'm just watching a fucking watching terrible a movie. movie. Yeah. Like, I was watching a movie. I forgot what it was, but it was, like, a horror movie. 
and it was about like oh this boy he turns into a werewolf but like his parents are getting divorced and like that's a huge <laughs> thing but it's like horror too and i'm watching it and i'm like this movie just fucking sucks. Like, there's <laughs> nothing else to it where I'm like, oh, like, ha ha, it's funny. Yeah, it's no, like, it's just a bad movie. Yeah. Whereas Diamond Cobra versus the White Fox, that's there's a something to laugh at every fucking. It's minute. a two-hour movie and it's still funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I've just been like I what I've been doing now is just putting on stuff in the background, and if I watch it, cool, and if I don't, yeah, whatever. That's what happens with yeah. me too, especially when I'm like editing the podcast. I always have something at like two percent volume on my yeah, tv yeah, and then you something to. will catch me and i'm like all right let's check this shit out for a second yeah man i was also gonna say uh i was just gonna say the fucking napoleon dynamite thing i think it's funny because i don't know why but like i low-key want to do like a review or something of napoleon dynamite like whenever it gets to like an anniversary date or something it's, okay. it's a while like it's like three years before it reaches believe it or not that movie's gonna be 20 years and three yeah years. i believe it i yeah. believe it yeah but I just think, like, that movie deserves so much more credit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I it's think like, people... We got to get the, <sighs> We got to get this generation of kids to watch that movie. Yeah, I feel like our, this generation of kids will like it, though. You think so? I think they'd like it. They will. Cause they it, will like it because it's... How like, humor is nowadays. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. very awkward. There's, exactly. like, spa- those spaces in between dialogue. I feel I'd like... I'd argue that movie's going to be a cult classic. If It, yeah. it is already, but yeah, it's just going to Yeah, I feel like better. the movie didn't do... Uh, not that it was bad, but I feel like a lot of people gave it, like, a dub of, like, oh, it's, like, a dumb comedy movie. Yeah. And then even though, like, there's a lot of, like, sentimental value in it. I'll never forget the first time I watched it. I was in my mom's room, and it was on demand on MTV. And I remember, like, everybody I knew at school was talking about it. So I was like, fuck it, I'll watch it. And I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life at 12 or 13. I remember the Vote for Pedro shirts. Yep. Um, those are... All, all, all at Hot Topic. All at Hot Topic. All at the the boardwalk at yep. blank summer Any location. Any beach city. Yeah. I remember I bought a uh, I bought a meme shirt one year. Oh boy! I don't remember. I don't remember. What, I think it was I think it was Megusta, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I do not know. It was like one of the memes. Like Dude, you're gonna wear that on the, the podcast. I don't. Need, I don't even have it. Dude, like I, I clean my closet. I found some shit too. I found a jumbo pink suit jacket, like oh. a Miami Vice type jacket. Oh, if you no. ever want to come in dress as like detectives, I would not. Totally do no, that. I, don't, I don't think you should dress as that either. Oh, dude, we should totally do that now. No, we I'm gonna come not. in in white pants pink suit jacket sunglasses uh we're gonna be like fucking miami vice <laughs> just dressed up like tron <laughs> you like just like neon just like <laughs> oh man i found my detective get up from that one time i played a detective my mm. like my sunglasses and my gun holster and shit like my badge mm. detective uh about the mirror without the nerf gun yeah yeah why, <laughs> why did they give you an irish name what what I'll, oh that logic. was me oh <laughs> what logic was that it was funny <laughs> it was not supposed to be taken seriously oh, okay i was like <laughs> i just liked it a lot i was like hmm. mcnamara it really i don't know something about it it's like okay mr matumbo it's like what <laughs> i had an accent too i was like you motherfucker you know like <laughs> oh my god and it's like okay it's not like that irish italian look okay. hey. I, feel, I feel it it's like when I did that uh that video that's on joystick for whatever reason of the basketball thing that I did in film school where I'm like keep it on the DL. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Don't fucking don't even know why that's on. I the mean, camera. there's some there's some stuff that we did in the past that should have been on joystick was yeah. was but wasn't. Yeah. I feel like I could have thrown some random junk I had. Yeah. But instead I put it on my personal channel which I have to delete. <laughs> I have to delete some stuff yeah. too. No, it's funny cuz uh I was just going to bring up that video. If you don't know what we're talking about, there's a video that exists far, far, far down below in the channel. It's not worth your time. It's not to say that it's a bad video per se, but it's just, it's just, it, what the video is, is uh, when I went to film school, I had a teacher who used to give us scripts. Yeah. And he would separate the class. It was like 20 of us into two groups of like 10, let's just say that. Mm-hmm. It was really like eight, but whatever. And those two groups would go out in teams and film the script in their interpretations. So the script we got was supposed to be about two kids. One of the kids has been cheating in school and the other kid like hears one of the teachers talk to his parent about it. Okay. And he like goes to the kid and the kid's like actually nervous. I'm agreeing with you even though I've seen this video many times. And the kid's like ner- yeah, whatever, but, yeah. but yeah, but the kid, the kid's like really nervous and but the way what I'm saying is the script was supposed to be portrayed as like an actual drama moment, but when we read the script, we were like this is the crappiest thing ever like this yeah. is bonkers insane this is, doesn't even sound real yeah so we we always took the scripts and just took them as fucking way far left as possible so for that one we decided to do like an 80s 
T- PSA. Yeah, which I feel like is way better because if you said those things as dramatic lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have sounded horrible. So to put it into perspective, there's a video on Joystick. It's like 30 seconds long. That's like an 80s PSA. I think that's what, oh, it's like it's called 90s PSA. I think that's mm-hmm. what it's called. And it's literally just me and no one else from Joystick because mm-hmm. it's my film school crew. Yeah. And we go up and it's the script but we chopped it up to make it sound goofy and then mm. at the end i'm like keep it on the dl and then the other guy's like cheating's for losers bobby get your shit together and then he like walks off camera into a wall because mm-hmm. you know we were not taking this seriously yeah. at all the reason that exists on joystick is because i went to the bathroom one day in film school and when i came back one of my film school friends uploaded the video onto joystick from my laptop like i was signed into joystick so i actually never uploaded that video why Some, why did they do that cuz they it gets so i when i saw that i wasn't mad or anything but you but were going to delete it i was going to delete it yeah the reason that video is still up there is because the president of my film school saw that and was like this is the funniest fucking thing i've ever seen <laughs> and he put it on like the playlist of student videos that plays when you walk into the film school at the front desk <laughs> Oh so when you walk God. in, it was literally like dramatic stuff, music videos. That PSA. That, yeah. That PSA. That's and, actually really funny. And that. if I ever deleted it or made it private, it wouldn't be on the playlist anymore, visible. So that's the only reason it's still there. And, you know, for all I know, it's probably gone. But I like to feel like that little piece of me for, still exists. Imagine, like, you go in 10 years later yeah, and you see it. And you're, like, yes. You're like, holy shit. They're like, yeah, that's our like best video. We teach it. Yeah, <laughs> that, right. That's our com- our commercial lesson. <laughs> oh, dude, before we get into Jam of the Yam, I don't care. I'm going to I'm gonna get into it. Usually, I don't name names, but I'm naming names. All right. uh, I won't name the full name, but I had a directing teacher named Don, okay? Okay. And this guy, Don, was a really cool guy, a very energetic guy, but he was the dude that would give us all these, these projects. And it was like every week, we had to do that same thing. We get the script, yeah. we film it, and at the end of the week, we kind present of, kind it. Kind of a lot of work. <laughs> present it. I mean- it sounds like a lot of work. It's filming a what? Like a minute video in a week? It's not a lot. Oh, but right. the thing is, is they expect a lot. You yeah, know, they expect school, you They expect to... you to write, you know, granted you have the script. They expect you to, you know, plan it. And they expect yeah. you to get wardrobe and final location. It's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what um, I mean. That, that's, in, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying like actual stuff. Like m- there's a lot of people who'd rather write an essay than no, film sure, a yeah. movie. <laughs> I, I don't disagree for sure. Sometimes I'd like to do that yeah. as long as I want to write it about something that I want to write about. Mm-hmm. But, uh. What I'm getting to with this is we got maybe, I can think of specifically one, two, three, four scripts. We mm-hmm. got four scripts for sure. Okay. One script was about uh, the two kids in the school. Another one was about two brothers who fight. Another one was about uh, a, a woman who goes in to try to get food stamps in like the 40s and the guy can't help her. So we did it in black and white, and I was really fast talking. I was like, "Sorry, we can't help you, man." Like, yeah, you know. That's what I, mean? Right. I mean, that's great, yeah. Uh, and then the the last one, which was my personal favorite, was a movie about two women who I think were sisters. Okay. Uh, and one of them was like a deranged kind of killer type, and the other one was like a normal sister. Mm-hmm. And the normal sister, normal, had a teddy bear that she was very very close to. So I don't know. Again, we just got a piece of the script. We didn't get the full movie. We just got the scene. Okay. So the scene was one of the sisters is like tied up, duct taped in a warehouse or some shit like that. Right. And the evil sister comes in with a knife. But instead of threatening like to cut or kill the sister, she starts like threatening the teddy bear. So we had to film that. Okay. So did, did you a, did you play the sister? I I played the deranged person. Okay. I, I played a man. Okay. But the whole concept you was play, we, you didn't play a woman. That's really no sad. no. But but the thing was, Dylan, is that script was so bad to read, dude. Like yeah. it was like, what the fuck is? I this? would love to see that and for to use it as blackmail yeah. at a future Got date. Got you. Uh, we uh we filmed it like I said we took it super far, but we filmed it like with really stylistic red blue lighting to make it look like kind of a, a neo noir horror type film and i played the character really like uh-huh. i don't want to i'm not a great actor or anything but i played it really you played like, the part yeah i played it really like sinisterly like yeah Aha, you know what i mean like a weird fucking guy and the other guy played his part pretty well like a scared thing and we presented it the guy loved it you know the reason i bring up all this is because at the end of film school we found out that all of those scripts were for movies by don <laughs> Oh no! And after we found that out, we watched all of those scenes, and, and they were all bad, dude. They were bad, dude, dude. It must be really bad when a film teacher I, has you know, the bad movie. I love that guy, but dude, yeah, it's mm. rough. It was fucking rough, man. Yeah, 
Damn. We I could even go upstairs and show you some if you would like. I feel like you may have shown I me. I may a couple, have. You may have shown me maybe one or two scenes. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Some of my other my other teachers there like worked on stuff, but none of them worked on anything huge. Huge. Funny enough, I had a sound teacher who worked on sound productions, and I think I ran. He was like okay. Iranian, and then I I think he had a crush on my mom, which was weird too. Every time my mom would call, he'd get all like, "Hello," you know, it was like weird. Uh, and then I had another dude who taught. Uh, I just like he's in, he's into my mom because he says, <laughs> yeah. "Hello." I had another teacher. I had another teacher I fucking hated. I don't even yeah. remember his name. Oh, I do. It just came into my head, but I'm not even going to name it. That's how much I don't like this guy. Mm-hmm. He's a cinematography Rob. teacher. Yeah, total fucking Rob. He's a cinematography teacher, but he was foreign. I don't know where he's from, but he was so like, and don't get don't get me wrong. I get it. Like, there's there's definitely uh like being punctual is important, especially in mm-hmm. filmmaking. But I was late because of a train delay that I couldn't handle. And Dylan, I was five minutes late. And he, like, chewed me out in front of the class. He was like, I can't believe you would come into class this late, da 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 And I literally told him, like, right then and there. I was like, dude, I was waiting for the train for 25 minutes. Mm-hmm. Thing didn't come in. I can't, can't control that. And funny enough, the, the principal or the, the president of my school really liked me. So he was always like, we can't do anything about that. And I was like, yeah, like, bro. Mm-hmm. He was just a real hard ass for no reason. Like, I'm not saying, that what like I said earlier, there, part of being a teacher, especially film teachers, you have to have that part of you. Yeah. But to do it without any fucking sense of like no i mean i feel like a lot of teachers do that though but you know like, you gotta have a brain at no some no point. no Te- like I, full on hard ass i feel like a lot of teachers like they have either like they have their mo and they go for it mm-hmm. or they like they have a bad day and they're like that i think that was it he's sure. like yeah yeah I've, or like you know they woke up because he always tried they woke to pull, up and their back hurt you he know always tried to pull that shit after where he was like you know i didn't mean to do that like mm-hmm. he didn't stick to it he was just kind of an asshole uh-huh but yeah oh yeah i hate i just like when teachers try to like make like a presentation it's like no one no one wants to be here yeah my favorite teacher. <laughs> we're all trying though. to get a piece of paper no one wants to be here <laughs> my favorite teacher shout outs to blake he's an editing teacher yeah this guy spoke like 20 words of class he came in and he would be like today we're gonna do this in after effects uh move this lighter like he spoke the minimum amount of words he had to speak mad quiet and i you know I don't, i'm not trying to toot my own horn here but I was the editor. I was the mm-hmm. editing guy. You know what I mean? So this class was a fucking walk in the park for me. Uh, because of that, he took a very strong liking to me because I passed all his tests. I passed, We had written tests and shit like that. I passed mm-hmm. all of them 20 out of 20, this, that, and the other. He used to give me like 64 gig flash drives. And he'd be like, this is for you. Or use it on a project. And I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, great. Awesome. I have mad of his flash drives upstairs. Dude was the homie. Yeah. But he didn't speak he a lot. Just giving <laughs> a very, very quiet guy. He just handed to you and bowed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Shouts to Blake. So, yeah. Shout out to, I didn't think I was going to get into my film yeah. school history. There. But yeah, Blake, if you're out there, if you're watching. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pretty, pretty cool episode. We, yeah. did, uh, we did some talking about the marijuanas. Mm-hmm. We talked about some TV shows. And, and now I want to... Honestly, right do over here. Parks and Rec right over episode. there. Yeah, uh, Parks and Rec is. I Looks probably right. need to rewatch it at some point. We could get into that too because that's one of Jerry's favorite shows too. You know what I mean? That we've all and Joey's watched it too. Oh. And Joey has. I don't want to say negative opinions of it, but he's very strongly in favor that The Office is a better show, which I'm not going to get into because I, I will get think, into. It's not. I don't. I don't <laughs> think either is the better show. I just think they're two very different shows, yeah. and that's just that's just that. You know, mm-hmm. if you like one, you like the other, whatever. But needless to say. It is that time, my friend. It is that time. We have entered the jam and yam zone. Mm-hmm. Everyone already is putting on their headphones. Yep, they're getting ready. They're, they're getting ready. On their Spotify. Yeah. They're at the search bar. They mm-hmm. just clicked it. The bar is blinking. They're ready to type. And <laughs> they're ready. Is, they're ready to miss. I mean, I know we have like the visual now, but they're ready to misspell it. Definitely. And, they type and it this in. is what you're gonna type for the third yeah. time on this podcast. You're gonna type Royal Blood. Mm-hmm. Because this is you're my picking a Royal Blood song. Picking a Royal Blood song. Uh, their album releases at the end of April, mm-hmm. so that's why there's been a lot of Royal Blood because they've, you know, as time they, goes they're on. in my they're in my uh, my uh, release radar yeah, yeah. on Spotify because as time goes on, they're yeah. releasing a lot of singles and shit like mm-hmm. that. So, uh, go check out Boilermaker by Royal Blood. Mm. Not only is it a banger of a song, it's actually a they played it live in like 2018 years ago like 2019 hmm. at uh i think it was reading and Leeds or something like that yeah big festival yeah and that was the only time they ever performed it 
and you could only watch it in recordings. In fact, after a while, they took the video down and you had to listen to like the audio version and shit like that. Oh shit! But it's been a song that the Royal Blood fans yeah. have literally been asking for for like three years or something, and they finally released it. It's gonna be on this album as a single, and the Sick. like the the mastered version. It sounds so cool. It's so oh cool. yeah, yeah, I, I imagine like, like not to um, hear the live version, to hear what it actually sounds like. Essentially, there'd be a lot of uh, things like that in the past where like you know bands would do that. Yeah, they would play a song and then like you'd hear it, and you'd be like. I haven't heard this song. Yeah, this is new. And no one, and like they're like sing a lot. And no one knows it. Yeah, everyone, everyone. Yeah, that's the part of the concert where everyone just stands and they're like. That's why you have to add a la 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 part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody remembers la la la. Stick la. the mic out. <laughs> la. <laughs> what about you, buddy? What are, what are they yeah. searching for the yam of the week? So I've been going through like old songs that like I wouldn't have been listening to when I had Spotify. So you know, there's like Arctic oh, Monkey songs, sure. the Strokes, old, the disco for old stuff, mm-hmm. and you got it. I was, like I said, I was listening to A Fever You Can't Sweat Out. Yeah. Great album. Like you said, I think you even said it on the podcast a while ago. That album just is like the best album in the world for like one time per year. It's just like you listen and you're just like, wow, they really, this is groovy as hell. Yeah. And then like it's every. Really interesting. Yeah. Like, we could go into that. For yeah. Because it's like the first honestly. half of the album is like uh, electronic stuff. Yeah. And then the second half is more like old timey type instruments. Definitely. Um, and I think the coolest thing about it is Brendan Urie's fall, random falsetto. Throw yeah, right. <laughs> no, but um, the song I'm going to choose is uh, oh, wait, oh, Nails for Breakfast, okay. Tax or Snacks. Wow, which I is, would never have guessed. Which that is one. like top three song for me. I for would sure. never have guessed that one. Yeah. Holy shit! That's, a, That's I was a, really expecting you to go like Camisado, Time to Dance. Yeah, those are also thing. really good. But uh, uh, these number, these there's a reason why these tables are numbered. That one's also Na- Nails for Breakfast is uh is one of the weirdest Panic at the Disco songs, but I think that's why I love it so much. Mm-hmm. It's has, great. Has really cool drum. Oh man, what a jam! It is. That, now that I want to go listen yeah, to it. Man. Yeah, exactly. Like when you hear that, you're just like, oh shit! It's one of the rare yam jams. Yeah. I, gotta, I don't know. There's I something it. special to uh, Panic Chorus, and it kicks in, and For you're sure. like, oh, shit. What I like about that, al- one time I was listening to that album with my dad in the car, and we were listening to There's a Reason These Tables Are Numbered, and my dad brought up something that I'd never, I heard that song like 100 plus times, and my dad was like, this is a salsa beat, and it's literally a salsa beat. It's a salsa beat, and then it has like a... Uh... It's like salsa piano, so like everything, it's like a, a salsa song, but then they fucking throw in the Baroque shit, and mm-hmm. Brendan Urie comes in with electric guitar, and it's a fucking pop punk song, and mm-hmm. it's like, what the fuck? And then like, yeah, and then even with like other, so I think that's like my favorite thing about music, because you know, there's some bands that kind of sell out, and instead of trying to do a new thing every album, they kind of do the same thing. Mm-hmm. I always feel like my favorite artists are always bands that like every album you can tell that it's a different album they went into it with a different mindset yeah and not only does panic do do that but they did it like extremely well yeah on that album so yeah for sure man i'm i that was good yeah i you know usually i hate to say it but sometimes you say the m's and i'm like dope cool i'll check it out later but that one that was one that i could actually like yeah Mm-hmm. I could feel with you, you know. You you accept it and you agree. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're just like yes. <laughs> and per our typical, uh, you know, rituals here on the show, I'll play the jam immediately after we start recording because that's typically what I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm ready. I love Royal Blood too. Yeah. So, so guys, thanks for joining us here for episode 34. That honestly, that was one of my favorite episodes we've done in a really long time. Very nice, the, very chill. One of the chiller conversations we've had. We got to talk about a lot of cool shit. Mm-hmm. I like the segment a lot. Oh my god, we could, honestly. I already have ideas. Yeah, right. Gonna hit up that generator yeah. for maybe the second to weed or not yeah. to weed. I <laughs> uh, got definitely got to go through the old segment list to get something. I mean, we could do. Through. I mean, we could do it with like other stuff. It's like to blank or not to blank. And yeah, then right. You just replace it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but I want to get creative. You know, can't, mm-hmm. can't, can't, can't keep be- beating the same dead horse. Mm-hmm. And is that the same? <laughs> no, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Just uh, assault assaulting some, some horses. Some dead horse. Uh, <laughs> Beat a pony. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> make sure to like. Make sure to hit the bell. Get oh yeah! Uh, whenever these things come out, mm-hmm. it's pretty consistent. Yeah, it's They're always, always going to come out Wednesday, twelve to one, twelve to two. Usually twelve to one. Though. I'm pretty pretty adamant about mm-hmm. it. Um, I have I have the bell. You have the bell. Oh Look hell yeah! You like Dylan? I Get the, the be- fucking bell. I have dude. all notifications on my phone off except for texting, mm-hmm. DMs on Instagram, mm-hmm. our channel. Can I be honest? That's I haven't it. clicked the bell. Mm. I'm gonna go and click the bell right after this. You're gonna get annoyed because you upload it. You're gonna <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna feel like, it. Damn, joystick uploaded. Whoa, <laughs> wild. Be like, yo, Dylan. 
<laughs> Joystick uploaded. Shit is wild. You're crazy. Nah, man. Uh, just to end it on like a cool note, I want to say thanks real quick to just everybody who catches the show. We uh, it's cool because we get to check the analytics on the side, and mm-hmm. uh, you get to see a lot of interesting statistics about the show. And it's interesting because we have like thirty-ish viewers, and you can tell because sometimes the numbers are lower, and a lot of other times the numbers get higher. But more often than not, that's like the average number of people that come in and watch the show and mm-hmm. like really watch it. So for you, you thirty-ish people might yeah. be a little less, might be a little more. Thank you. I'm I, I'm thinking of like a fave five type scenario. Oh, I'm thinking of a bunch right now. Like I'm thinking of like, did you know that from like T-Mobile? Yeah, they had like the, the fave, fave five. Yeah, the, and also the MySpace top MySpace eight. top five or top eight. Was it was top, top eight. eight. Yeah, nice you know, but like that's that's when you knew that's when you knew that like you really had beef with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah if right. they were like, you heard? Nah, you're four, bitch. Like <laughs> they they took. They took Bobby off the top eight. <laughs> so if you want to get on the top eight, you know, yeah. you get a little more active, homie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, but all, all jokes aside, thanks. It means a lot. We, mm-hmm. uh, we don't really do this for any other reason than to voice our opinions on our favorite things and also to entertain the 30 of you. And, and have fun. And have fun. And, you know, if our dreams come true, hopefully one day we'll be entertaining 3,000 of you or 30,000. Who fucking knows, right? That's the plan. We're just going to keep on doing this. Because 30 billion. 30 billion people per episode. <laughs> Everyone. We're playing just the world. The world. Just yeah. Universes everywhere are getting we, streamed. We go, to a, we go to a different planet where the podcast of that planet. Yeah, right? Yeah. So welcome to the Mars podcast. Welcome, welcome to Team Venus. <laughs> uh, but thanks, guys. It, mean, it means a lot. And uh, we're, we're coming up with some awesome new stuff, both like videos on the channel and also just like making this space into both a, a stylistic and efficient space to come um, out yeah with i'm videos. thinking i know you're really settled on, on a color but i'm thinking like fur walls fur walls i'm furry. afraid that's not gonna happen Fra- going, furry walls we're going with like a dark space blue or like really dark charcoal gray but uh but i'll see what we can do about maybe a furry rug on a wall i don't know why <laughs> Maybe we could do just for it's you. Like Dylan wanted a fur wall, right so there is like there is it's it's like a one inch by one inch square. Like, a, just, like when you go to the carpet store, they have the yeah. panels. It's like that. It's like Dylan, Dylan wanted a rug on the wall. <laughs> Can I buy a, like a fucking yeah. carpet tester panel? Yeah, yeah, go, go for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's gonna get hung up no, on the wall, man. Can't wait for it. Oh man! So stay tuned for some awesome stuff in the future. New shows, old shows, old spin, well, new spins on old stuff. And uh, yeah, you have any final things to say before we shut it down? Shut it down. Bring it on downtown to the next round. Underground, Dream Brown, Brown Fur, O Town, Underground, Middle Brown. Oh. <laughs>